Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this question which is from Australian Intermediate Mathematical Olympiad 2015 where we have to find the smallest x for which this above equation satisfies. So if you want pause the video give it a try otherwise keep watching. So let's see how can we proceed this. First thing we can see here is we can take something common and let's see what happens. So I can take 2 to the power 10 as common and here this portion is nothing but so you see here this is nothing but 2 cube 8 plus 1 is 9 and we have 2 to the power x over here now now we can write this quantity over here as like 2 to the power 5 square into 3 square plus 2 to the power x is equals to y square and this is equals to 2 to the power 5 into 3 whole square 2x y square now this is nothing but 96 square plus 2 to the power x is equals to y square now uh, rearranging this a bit you will see this is difference of 2 square here y square minus 96 square which allows us to apply this formula y plus 96 into y minus 96 this must be some power of 2 and this must be some power of 2 in order to be a combination of power of 2 from here we can see that x is equals to a plus b now let's see if we can solve it y plus 96 is equals to 2 to the power a y minus 96 is equals to 2 to the power b now let's subtract this two equation subtract these two equation and you will get y and y will cancel you will get 96 plus 96 is you will see 96 plus 96 is 192 and this side will have 2a minus 2b now 192 we can write that 2 to the power 6 into 3 is equals to 2 to the power a minus 2 to the power b now dividing both sides by 2 to the power 6 we will see this is equals to 3 is equals to 2 to the power a minus 6 minus 2 to the power b minus 6 you can notice 3 is odd while power of 2 is always even and this is power of 2 which is always even but odd is never equals to even minus even so here in order to get odd is equals to even minus this must be odd in order to be odd so when 2 to the power uh, 2 to the power something is odd it's only case that it must be zero so it means 3 is equals to 2 to the power a minus 6 and this must be odd which is i can say b minus 6 so the only possibility left here this must be odd that is 1 because only 1 is possible when 2 to the power something is raised then this must be 4 and comparing this powers a minus 6 
is equal to 4 and 2 to the power b minus 6 is equal to 1. A must be 8 and B must be 6. But we have taken the X equals to A plus B. It means X must be 14. This implies that X must be 14. And putting this value in our original equation, and after a bit of calculation, you will see that y is nothing but plus or minus 130, which is our solution. Thank you for watching. See you next time.